Hey guys, I'm Molly Sims and I'm gonna show you how to host a play date for your wild and woolly monkeys. Simple tricks that will help you become a play date maven. Plan multiple activities, so really, really be prepared. Don't be on your phone, don't be on your email, be really, really present. Be prepared with healthy snacks. I love cooking, I love baking. One of my favorites, which I'm gonna show you today, is my gluten-free chickpea cookies. The one thing you're gonna need is a food processor. It's a really kind of thick dough and the consistency can be kind of hard to work with. We're gonna start with one and one fourth can of chickpeas. A little bit of a note when you're working with the chickpeas, when you drain them, make sure you pat them dry so there's no water. So one and one fourth cup of canned chickpeas. So then we're gonna do two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then we're gonna do a half a cup and two tablespoons of almond butter. And again, you can change it up with peanut butter too. Moving on, a fourth a cup of honey. Next we have a teaspoon of baking powder. And at the end, we're gonna add a half a cup of chocolate chips, but we're not gonna add them to the very end, and I'm gonna explain why. There we go. You're gonna pulse it, which is very important. Do not double this recipe. It's too hard on your food processor, and honestly, one time, I blew up my food processor. There was smoke coming out. Just pulse it. You're gonna add your chocolate chips. Just add them to the front. And literally, I do one little pulse and that's it. Okay, look at this. See how your chocolate chips are still whole? That's what you want. It's a very, very thick consistency, but that's what you want. Pop it in the fridge for an hour. So after an hour, I'm gonna show you, I've already kind of done it for you. I use parchment paper, cut them into squares, depending on your container, and I use just a heaping like tablespoon and I round them into a simple ball. 375, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your oven. These cookies are so yummy. As you can see, it's so easy to host a great play date. I love when the kids all get together and they're so happy and it makes me happy. If you guys want more hosting tips, go to AOL or mollysims.com.